Hi, Timothy Unger here. In yesterday's video, I introduced Jove, which is an Emacs-like terminal text editor. Uh, I'm going to continue to cover a few commands uh, in this video, and then I'm going to kind of give you my thoughts on Jove and whether or not I'm going to continue to use it. All right, so let's start. So we have uh, CX, which is Control X, which is Character Extend. So if I do Control X, I do something like B, that uh, Control X B is select buffer. So I could go to a different buffer. Now let's say I don't want to do that. I want to get out of it. I can do an abort command with Control G. Okay, so I can abort out of that. I can do Alt X to start uh, using some commands. So let's go down here and I'm going to do Alt X and I'm going to do auto fill and hit enter. And now we're in auto fill mode, which is one of the modes of Jove. So auto fill mode, if I start typing the line and keep typing and typing and typing and typing and typing and, typing and ah, you see that at a certain point it breaks it in the word and brings it down to the next line so my lines don't get too long within Jove. So that's a cool uh, mode that you can go into. There's a bunch of different modes you can go into in Jove. Okay. Uh, for instance, we could do, I believe, uh, quit out of here, Alt X and then uh, C mode. We could go into C mode. Now, if we're doing C programming, we could be in C mode. Okay. So that's one of the things. Uh, I'm going to go back to autofill here. So we're in autofill mode. Okay. Now I can do some other stuff here. If I go down, I could, for instance, you see it's a little odd here. What I could do is I could set left margin at 15. And now if I start typing a long line and keep typing, whoops, typing and typing and typing and typing and typing and typing and ah, I don't have autofill mode on because I toggled it off. Sorry. Okay, so now it brings it down. Once I turned on autofill mode, it broke the line and brought it down. And you'll see that I have this margin of 15 characters here on the left because I set the left margin at 15 characters. And I'll bring that up to the center with control L. Okay. So that's one of the things you can do on Jove. You can also do a search forward with control S, but with a lot of terminals, you don't want to use control S because it can freeze the terminal. So you can also use control backslash. So if I do control backslash here, I can search forward for something in the document. Maybe I want to search forward for the word and, and it'll bring me to the first occurrence of and. Okay, if I go down a little bit, I can do control R for a search in reverse, and I can research search for and, okay? And it'll bring me to the last occurrence of and. I can scroll down with control V and uh, go down maybe a little bit further, back to where we were, okay? So to replace all instances of certain text after the cursor, so let's go up to the top, let's uh, do alt r and we'll replace the string and with so i hit and i hit return with andy okay and now it's replaced everything even command with commandies okay or command so it's going to change everywhere all right so i can go back up top and now what i could do do alt r replace string andy with and Okay, and now it's back. Okay, I changed it back. But that's kind of cool. All right, um, let's go back up here. We can also do a query replace. So we can go through for each word and replace. So let's go back up to the top and we'll do Alt Q and we'll query replace the string and with Andy again. And I'll go here and if I want to replace this one, I'm going to hit the space and it moves to the next and. If I want to skip this one, I can hit the backspace and go to the next one. If I want to do a recursive edit, I can stop for a minute, do the recursive edit. Let's change this to like and do control X, control C to go back into the query replace. And if I want to replace 
all the occurrences of n with Andy at this point, I can just press P and it does it for all of them. All right. So that's uh, the query replace within the document. Uh, describe key. So we can do control X uh, question mark, describe key. Uh, what does the A key do? A key is bound to self insert. Okay. Uh, let's do control X question mark. Let's do the escape key. Uh, so the escape, escape key is unbound. Okay. But maybe if we do something with the escape key, let's do, uh, let's do control X question mark, control X question mark, describe key escape uh, Q. Uh, so escape Q is bound to query replace string. So it's another way we can do it instead of um, the alt Q, we could also do escape Q. Okay. So that describes a bunch of the key combinations. We can also describe a command uh, that should be not command D, but describe command. Because remember, we replaced that earlier. So if I do alt X and a question mark, uh, then I can describe all these commands, or I could do Alt X and um, help. That's unknown. Okay, so you can play with that a little bit. Setting marks, uh, we can do Control X, Control X to interchange mark and point. Um, I'm getting. I was having difficulty with this text editor getting it to actually set the mark based on their recommendations. They both had control at and control space, and neither of those worked for me. So uh, I'm not really sure on that one. So that's I'll talk a little bit more about that later. Okay, we can also do uh, various other commands. We can do like Alt X and do backward paragraph. Okay, um, and to figure out some of these commands, we can do Alt X, type APR, expand it to a propros, hit. Uh, the enter key, and then we can type the word we want. So let's say we want to do backward. So it gives us a uh, some of the backward commands, like backward character. Uh, we can do control B to move backward a character. We can do escape control P to move backward a list. We can just type in the command backward uh, paragraph. We can do backward S expression. We can do backward sentence, backward up list, backward word. Um, if I wanted to figure out more like word commands, I could do a propros, uh, oops, a propros uh, word, and I could figure out all the words. So um, to make a word totally lowercase, uh, we could do escape C. So uh, let's find let's let's find a word here. Let's do Control O and just type a word in, in capital. Timmy, and now I want to go to the start of the word, and I'll do escape L, and that's going to make it all lowercase, okay, for that word. So that's that's kind of a cool command. Um, let's see, we can do control P to move back a list, escape control P, a bunch of different things we can do. Escape A goes backwards a sentence, kind of like alt A, so if we go uh, alt A goes back a sentence or control A goes back to the start of the line. So a lot of these escape and alt are similar. Uh, and, and yeah, so you can do uh, alt X and then a propros and then whatever the word is, and you'll figure out some of the commands for the word. Okay. Or for the string you're trying to figure out. So basically there is a built-in help. The one issue I have with it is when you try and find all the commands, it says next, and if you hit next, it jumps jumps you out of there. So it's tough to figure out what all the commands are for Jove. Um, maybe comment in the comments below if you found a way around this. Um, would I use this on a daily basis? I'm not sure. Uh, Emacs, by today's standards, isn't really that heavy. So um, do I really need a super light alternative to Emacs? Uh, maybe not, but maybe for a quick file edit, I would jump into Jove. It's a pretty cool text editor, um, but it is minimal in that case. Anyways, uh, if you want to try it out, you can either easily install it with sudo apt install Jove and give it a shot and uh, let me know what you think. If you like this video, please hit the like button as it will get out to more people. I also consider subscribing and hitting the bell for notifications as it really does help the channel grow. I want to thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.